when it comes to the dark arts. I believe in a practical approach. But first, which of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are? Three, sir. And they are so named? Because they are unforgivable. The use of any one of them will. Are you a one way ticket to us? A ban, correct? And the minister says you're too young to see what these curses do. I say different. You need to know what you're up against. You need to be prepared. You need to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the other side of your desk, Mr. Finnegan. Oh, I'm here. I'm here across classrooms. So, which curse shall we see first? Weasley! Yes. Stand. Give us a curse. Well. My dad did tell me about one. The imperious curse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your father would know all about that. If the minister quite a bit of grief a few years ago. Perhaps this will show you why. Sprout tells me you have an aptitude for her herbology. So there's the, um, this is the Cruciatus. Yes. Correct! Correct! Come! Come! It's a heavy honesty. The torture curse. Close here!
Sins and Cyberland. Coming back to with another film review. This time we're on to uh, another Harry Potter film. Fourth in the collection, so. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. So as I said before, when I was on... Um, <coughs> when I was reading the books got to the third and when I got to the fourth um, at the very beginning I already had um, kind of like the hairs were starting to raise up on my arm kind of thing to an extent like I could already feel something was wrong as I started reading the fourth book, like, something's gonna go down. And, especially the very first chapter or two, I, I was already like, okay, I, I think something really bad is gonna happen at the end of this book. I had no idea what, I, what, I was, what, what it was gonna be, but something told me something was gonna go down. Especially how the third book was already, as I said before, it's kind of like getting... The fourth book is the midway point, but the third book was leading into the midway point of, of the overall um, story. And the way the fourth book went from literally the Quidditch, um, like, you know, world kind of tournament and then moved into the school situation, <coughs> that was already a prelude to that things are going to start getting really bad in the wizarding world, at least from, from the perspective of the books. And as I read through, finished the fourth book, um, I felt that the innocence was over. Um, with the way the fourth book, the things that were going on in the fourth book, the elements of that were all, all shown in the film. Um, certain parts of the story were cut for obvious reasons, you know. But I felt the um, certain elements were just showing that the the innocence of the three, the of Harry, Ron, and um, Hermione was was over. Then the 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 Goblet of Fire. Cedric Doggery, Cho Chang, um, the beef that Ron and Harry had with each other for a little bit, uh, the elves, the, the, the truth behind who actually was cooking all the food, how it was appearing every day, that incident, the dance, the jealousy of Ron with... Uh, Victor and also the uh, uh, the, the Death Eaters <coughs> the Inquisition of the Death Eaters the originals and then lastly the return of Voldemort physical, his physical body returns and then the aftermath of um that incident with Harry and Voldemort for the first time, their encounter since he was a baby. All those things, um, were, were, to me, were, were, they were just almost cooked up in a stew and just served to Ron, Hermione, and, and Ron, just like um, uh, Ron, Hermione, and Harry, that, uh, you know, playtime's over. You know, these, these incidents, every single one of them I named is, is just to say that that's it. You can't go back. You guys are not little kids anymore. Um, things are going to change for you guys moving forward and you need to be prepared for it. You need to be more resilient. You need to be more focused. And you unfortunately need to accept the reality that um, your time at Hogwarts is going to be um, a lot more strenuous a lot more difficult and it's going to test 
not only your physical abilities, but also your mental. And that's what I really... And that's what I really got from... As I look back on the fourth book and, and the movie and things moving afterward, I, I kind of came to an epiphany about that, that it's really like, you know, they... It's time for them to grow up. Like, it's like... Everybody else at the school maybe can kind of still do the things that they want to do to an extent, but Ron, um, you know, Harry and Hermione, uh, their situation, especially Harry's, is a lot more serious, and they're not going to have the same pleasures and same um, school environment that everybody else at the school is going to have moving forward. You know, Ron and Hermione have to accept the fact that if they continue to hang with Harry, they're going to have to deal with what, what's going to be thrown at Harry. It's coming for them too. And Harry, of course, already knows that he's got two choices. He either can die <coughs> or he's going to have to fight. That's it. He, he doesn't... There's no other alternative for him. It's he, he's got two choices. Either stand and fight, or you, or just lay down and die. That's it. And the movie does its best to accompany all of that into the in, um, from the books into the movie as much as it can. It didn't do everything, but for the most part, now when I look back on it, that's definitely the vibe that I, I got from um, I got from it is that it's it's you know these situations are making them stronger but at the same time it's it's a nice little friendly reminder that you know you, your attitude about a lot of stuff is going to have to change your lives your lives depend on it kind of thing and definitely at the end of the, the movie and the book was was a very uh, calculated um lasting reminder I think for them in particular and probably all their secondary friends that they hang out with too I think they got the message as well maybe not the whole school but definitely you know Lavelle Luna George and Fred things like that as far as my rating for the movie I give it a 9 out of 10 yes sirs I just felt like <coughs> It was darker than the third, but it was it was missing a lot of stuff that maybe would have made the film a ten for me. Just different parts of the book, but everything else about the movie was fine. Um, the tone, the characters that got brought in to play to play their parts for the fourth book. Um, Ralph Fiennes is finally stepping up and and showing himself as Voldemort was interesting. And overall, the, the story, the pacing was good. It didn't drag. However, um, it, it was just darker, you know. And I, I'd say this, every single book gets darker. Every movie gets darker. And when I get to the sixth movie, I, I'm going to have something to say about that, too, in particular. Because it's now something I noticed that was different from all the other movies. And, I'm, and I, I wonder if they did that on purpose. I think that was the intention. But nonetheless, it's a good movie. It's not my favorite. Um, however, I, it's, it's very important. I feel... When I reflect on it now, the third book was important because of the history. And you have to know your history to know where you're going for your future. But with the fourth book, the fourth book was very... life altering for characters because um, it, it things were going to change after the fourth year nothing was going to be the same it's going to it's now they you know it's now you better cover your ass you better know how to defend yourself it, it will show many things and especially with um, one of the students being killed as he, and it was a guy as he was killed the way he was killed and no parent should have to see that. No parent should have to 
go through that. That was an awful scene in the book, and it was definitely an awful, awful scene in the movie. Um, and I think that and the, the speech that was given after the fact, <coughs> it was... It was a turning point for everything up and up until that spot in, in the in the arc for the midpoint of, of the Harry Potter series. I felt that it was very important um, because it showed because it showed that you know, as I said, that the characters need to grow up, but that um, life is precious and anybody can get it. Nobody, nobody, ain't no, ain't no S on their chest kind of thing. You know, they ain't Superman. So, uh, you know, things are definitely now moving forward going to be, have to be taken a lot more seriously. And uh, it's not going to be just having a good old time and just doing your studies and hanging out with your boys or hanging out with your girls. Not going to be that moving forward. So, uh, nonetheless, if you watch the first three films, definitely watch the fourth. And if you haven't, um, read the books. You'll definitely see what I'm talking about if you read the fourth book. So with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.